What's going on? This is XP with the review of Ninja Gaiden Z Yaiba for the PlayStation 3. And I think this is overall a great game. You know, if you're an action adventure fan, you'll definitely enjoy it. And even if you're a true Ninja Gaiden purist, you'll definitely have something to look forward to as well. Well, starting off with the story, the story is you're using the character Yaiba, enemy of Ryu Hayabusa, and he gets defeated early in the game. And so he gets resurrected as a cyborg, half cyborg, half human, and he just has a lot of powerhouse moves and he has to deal with zombies. And it's not big on the story, it's very simple, but you know, it keeps everything going at a steady pace. So if you're looking for something intricate, you're not going to get it, you're just going to get something just to drive the story along. And you know, it's pretty good if you know, if you don't expect something too big, you know, it's just an action adventure game. But you know, it gets the job done. We have a comic book inspired cutscenes, you know, very western style. And you know, panels slide through. Everything looks clean and slick. As far as the graphics, the graphics is pretty shell shaded for the most part. No, really, anything that deviates from that is just cell shaded, and it gets it gets the job done. It's nothing really amazing. Nothing that really would make you say wow. And since this is on the PlayStation 3, you know it still has that last gen feel. Nothing's really gonna blow you away. All right. Regarding the gameplay, this is where you know you expect to get you know the worth of the game because you know the gameplay really is what it's all about. And being that it's a Ninja Gaiden game, this is what really took me back because it's all about fast-paced action, you know, combos. As you can see, 207 hits. It's all about fast-paced combos and just destruction. Especially with this character Yaiba, he can he can do it all. It really reminds me of God of War, and I know some people might not like God of War, especially if they turn into Gaiden. But in terms of the pacing and the speed and the execution attack, so much God of War you see in this game. And it's not a bad thing, especially for a kind of spin-off. So, you know, it's not really how you do doing all this stuff. It's a new character. And the gameplay, it's pretty good. It's pretty satisfying. The whole thing is, it's really challenging as well. See, all the, all the upgrades you have to do in the game, you have to find them. It's nothing that you can buy in a shop. So in my playthrough, I only upgraded my health once, and everything else, it was pretty much, you know, up to if I, f if I found it or not. And as you can see, this is a, some little comedic, you know, some comedic stuff. They so made it funny and all this stuff, it's pretty down. cool. And as far as the gameplay, you know, it was lightning fast, executions are there. And it's not it's not an easy game, and I'm glad it's not because you know Ninja Gaiden was never an easy game. They managed to make this kind of hardcore, fast-paced style. Because God of War, there was very few times that I died, unless it was probably late in the game where they threw all the challenges at me. You know, this game they kind of bump up the difficulty high, very very fast. You know, and you just got to get down and lay down. It's pretty interesting. And, you know, as you can see, it's just a lot of different enemy types. There's a lot of different, you know, kind of elements with weaknesses. So you got to really figure that out if you really want to play. This is a fairly short game. I don't want to say short. You know, a lot of people, you know, once they, they want to spend their $60 and they want to get the bank for their buck. This is like a 6 to 10 hour game, but if you die a lot, it could definitely <laughs> extremely extend that. After you beat it the game, you get a new 
mode, which is like a side scroller, which adds a little bit of replayability. And if you like to be a completionist, there's definitely all the stuff that you didn't find, which is the story, the story pieces, and just getting a higher grade. I would definitely recommend this game to people who like the fast paced ninja action, over the top action adventure games. You know, for you Ninja Gaiden old school purists, I think you definitely should give this a shot. This is a very cool game. And I will give this an 8 out of 10. You know, those people who might be a little doubtful about the game's length, you might want to hold out until it's cheaper. But you know, it's still a good game. I definitely think you should try out. Alright, this is XP Review. Definitely thumbs up if you liked. And subscribe, I got some more stuff coming along. This is XP. Sun and out.